Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're gonna unbox some orchids. Yes, and you'll never believe it. It's a Schwerter order. Now, the vast majority of you guys, of my subscribers, are pretty new. You have subscribed to my channel in the past two years. And you probably don't necessarily know all of my history with Schwerter. So before we unpack this, I'll just go through the history because this is pretty emotional, <laughs> I have to say. So I'll put a timestamp if you just wanna skip this whole drama. It's not drama, but anyway, you have it on the screen. You can skip to that minute in the video where the actual unboxing is. Uh, but before that, if you wanna stick around, let me tell you my history with Schwerter. Now, Schwerter and I are pretty good friends. They've never actually sponsored me, and by that I mean I've never received any financial benefits from them or anything of the sorts for making videos, for speaking good about them. All that they did was actually sponsor my giveaways in the sense that they would give me a free discount code to pass on to a winner. I actually never saw orchids, never received anything to send to the winner, I just passed on the code to the winner and that's that. Which, you know, at the time I was just so tiny here on YouTube, I'm still tiny, but at the time I was like, I don't know, 1000 subscribers, something of the sorts, and for a company to just do that? That was pretty amazing. And I'm very thankful for um, giving us those codes. They were 50 euro discount codes, which is quite a lot. But all of that came after I was a customer. My very first online order ever was at Schwerter and this was in 2013. At the beginning of my YouTube channel or even before that, I ordered 20 something orchids. They were not all mine. I made a common order with a community of orchid lovers in my country. It was a mess. I had to send 20 orchids across the country. Oh, it, it was a mess. I'm never doing that again. But um, yeah, that was my first ever order at Schroeder. And I did the order simply because I had a PayPal account. Nobody else did. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, yeah. And the things that I received, you know, I liked. And I did another order. And I received more beautiful orchids. And throughout the years, I just kept ordering because I liked the orchids. I liked how they packed them. Up until two years ago, Schroeder was my main online orchid shop here in Europe. And I still have a ton of orchids that come from Schroeder and yeah. Oh, we also did an interview. I'll link you down below to it just in case you don't know about it. But for the past two years, I did not order anything because when I moved here to Cyprus, which PS, it's an island and things usually arrive slower here, but I ordered my ceramics, took a month to arrive to Cyprus or a little less than a month. So I thought, uh-oh, if orchids take three weeks on transport, they're not gonna come to me in good condition. So I stopped ordering from Germany for two years and a half or something of the sorts. I didn't order anything. But then time went by and I experienced 10 days transport, 20 days transport, a month transport, which I'll show you in a second after uh, I unbox these. And you know what? It's not all that bad. What's important is that you order the right things for the season and that the seller ships them correctly without water that can create molds and rot structures and also make sure that they're in good shape and they don't move around in the box. And so I thought, you know what? It is time for Schwerter. So anyway, I'll link you down below to some Schwerter videos just so you see what other orchids I ordered from them in the past. Here is my new order. And spoiler, they're all hot growers or warm growers at least. We're not playing around with the Victoria Regina at this time of the year. Let's start the unboxing. Let's see what I picked here. This is a cat Lea surprise surprise. All of these have really nice names. Look at her. Oh, she's a big girl. I see that now everybody has this tendency to put the tag on the outside. No, 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 don't do that. You know why? I'll tell you why. It's because this scotch tape will leave residue, very sticky residue, which will be awful. It will stick to the dust, it will accumulate dust, it will stick to the leka, it will become a nightmare. Oh, look at this. Do you see this? Please put back the tags. Do not put them on the outside, okay? And I'm double happy for this. So, yes, it is a really, really good looking orchid. I have a new growth here. And you know what? I don't even remember how it looks like. So let me Google it real fast. Okay, I know what this is now. It's a magnificent looking Cattleya orchid. Oh my goodness, you guys. It looks so good. We have new roots growing. And look at this. 
Ta-da! It's a net pot, which I'm pretty sure I can find a use for. Um, I'm pretty happy when I get net pots because it's kind of hard for me to find them. So yeah, look at this girl. Oh, overall, the transport was nine days, which is just so decent for not mainland. In Romania, I used to receive these packages after four days or five days. Those were the days. For me now, nine or ten days. Oh, piece of cake. So there we have it, my first uh, orchid in the box. Beautiful, just beautiful, I'm so happy. But yeah, please guys, orchid garden shredder, just please put the tags inside the pot, just don't put that scotch tape on them because they're a mess. This here right now will accumulate so much dirt, it's just off. And I actually tried to remove it with conventional stuff, but it's not working, I need to get a special remover. Okay, so <laughs> this one is the BL Golden Peacock. This I saw somewhere, I just don't remember where, and I loved it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> I have buds. So there we have it, this is the BL Golden Peacock. Yes, it is a Brassavola hybrid. <laughs> I mean Brassavola. I just cannot help it, I love the Brassavolas, I will always love them, and every cross with a Catlia and a Brassavola. The shape, the smell of the Brassavola coupled with different colors is just me. That's me. That's my flower. One of the reasons why I purchased these hybrids is because I love the shape. I would just love to see it in multiple colors and Brassavolas never come in multiple flowers because they're nighttime fragrant. No point in having colors as a species. Therefore, the hybrids should be wonderful. So I'm loving this. Look at it. It's just so great. Have you guys been in focus all of this time? I sure hope you were because it's kind of awkward to film. So there we have it. Lovely BL Golden Peacock. Let's move on. Okay, there's a tiny one which fascinates me here because I, I don't remember what I purchased. Oh, oh, okay, this. I'm not sure if this is a cat. Oh, it is. It's a Calia. This is a seedling, but it's such a special orchid, you guys. All right, this is the Acalia. Um, Chantilly Lace Twinkle. Oh my goodness, you guys, this particular Catlia is just wonderful. It's one of those that I've seen in pictures at some point. I always wanted it. This was advertised to be a seedling of some sorts, and it's not really a seedling. It is actually a young plant. I think she's about one year, two years away from blooming. I hope, I hope not more. But look at that picture. It looks poloric but I'm not sure if it is. It's just one of those which is absolutely unique and special and I've always wanted it and I've seen it at Schroeder and this one and the first one were actually the orchids which compelled me to make this order. So there we have it, pretty little orchid, right? She's such, such a nice specimen, right? Oops, apart from the falling medium, but she looks really, really nice. Next orchid should be extremely interesting. <laughs> it's a Catlia again. I think I ordered only Catlias and hybrids. Yeah, I think I did. Sorry. Uh, but I told you I want to extend my Catlia collection. This is Lelio Catlia Purple Cascade Fragrance or Fragrant Beauty. Do you guys remember I ordered this one five years ago in 2013? I was so happy and I received a mislabeled orchid which bloomed and it turned out to be Tokyo Magic. I sadly lost Tokyo Magic to um, Fusarium. Everything ended like a couple of months ago, you guys. She kept fighting, but no, it couldn't. I saw it for sale at Schroeder and I thought, you know what? If it's the Purple Cascade, my dreams will come true because I've wanted this record for five years. And if it's still mislabeled, if it's still the Tokyo Magic, I'll still be happy because I loved the Tokyo Magic. It was so beautiful and floriferous until she contacted Fusarium. So it's a win-win if it's mislabeled as well. What could it be? I can tell you right away. I know that orchid like the back of my palm. Okay, you guys, this is a big orchid, so I'm just gonna let it be here. I don't think it's a Tokyo Magic. I think it actually is the Purple Cascade. She had a flower spike here, and I think she has another flower spike maybe forming here, hopefully. I don't know, she has a, a sheath, as you can see, and she's just outgrowing her pot. Look at this, she's a monster. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I miss Schroeder so much. So yeah, whatever she is, and I seriously doubt she's the Tokyo Magic at this point. Um, cannot wait to see her in bloom. Imagine my surprise if this will be the Tokyo Magic. Uh, and I just told you I know that orchid like the back of my hand. <laughs> Let's make a bet. You guys, comment below. Is this the Purple Cascade or the Tokyo Magic? Bet now. Okay, okay, two more to go. Let's start with the big one. What are you? Another Catlia, Delight Salmon Queen. What was this one? And it's another one of those big ones which came in a net pot, which is nice. So I have two new growths, as you can see. This is a big orchid. 
What do you look like? Oh right, I remember it. It's a beautiful orangey yellow cat. Yeah. Is anybody surprised at this point? I don't think anybody is surprised anymore. I'm going for orange and um, yellow Kellyas. I love them. Rarely I buy purple ones or pink ones. I like those two just slightly less. All of these fluffy flowered Kellyas I believe should be fragrant. So you know me, I promised you that I would order more fluffy Kellyas and that I'm doing. And finally, the last orchid in the package, it's a tiny one. I don't remember what I ordered. Oh yes, tropical pointer. There's another orchid which has always been on my wish list, the tropical pointer. I tried to have this orchid actually, you guys. I ordered it from Wickman, received a really beautiful one. Had Fusarium, lost it. Big surprise there. That was the tropical pointer galaxy. This is a normal uh, tropical pointer. Yes, I do suspect this one is not a mature plant. I think it was a younger plant. That's okay, because I always wanted to have this orchid. The flower is just beautiful. There's something about that shape that fascinates me, and I've never had luck with it. Have a new growth. I have a nice root system. I have no worry that these plants will do great. Slightly dehydrated, so I will hydrate all of them now. And I think that is a wrap. Let's just get everybody in the frame. So here we have it. This is my Schroeder haul. And yes, I ordered only Catleas. Well, for this time of the year, I really don't have the guts to order anything else except Catleas and Vandas, which I will show you a Vanda, which I recently received. And not only are they warm growers, they can tolerate a drought very, very well. And even though these orchids didn't spend all that much time on transport, it's always a lottery. You never know what's gonna happen. So that's why I only ordered these plants. But you know what? I think I'm gonna start to order from Schroeder again, um, even if transport, you know, it's now four days. Because just look at them, they're just so nice quality. There's a difference, mind you, with Schroeder you have more expensive transport, uh, that is that. The price of the orchids is not necessarily more expensive than whatever you find on eBay, uh, depending on the size of the orchid. But the transport, oh, it's 22 euros. Good thing is, no matter how much you purchase, theoretically, you will have 22 euros or even less, uh, depending where you live, transport, which could be good, could be bad. Uh, like any nursery, Schroeder only uh, ships to Europe. And yeah, that has been the haul and I'm looking forward to another haul, probably in the autumn or winter at this point, before they actually stop shipping orchids in the winter. Now, let me show you that Van Dyke kept telling you about. All right, here she is. This is a Rinko Stylus Celestis. Yeah, I have a ceiling of this, but you know what? A month and a half ago or something, when I first put my Vandas outside, that particular one got a little bit of a stain on her little leaf and I thought, oh no, I'm gonna lose it. Might as well buy a replacement. Well, you probably all know how my Vandas look. Well, two of them. So a little stain on the leaf doesn't matter, but at the time I panicked. <laughs> so I found this one on eBay from Orchid Man. It was an auction, but it was just so big and so nice, I, I had to get it. So yeah, this is my replacement for the little bit of a stain that I have on my Wrinkle Stylus Celestis seedling. Plus, it, it's a seedling. This one is a mature orchid, you can see it, it didn't bloom until now. So yeah, it was a long time to wait, this was a good deal, I got it. This one spent 28 days in a box on transport. At some point, I think the Netherland Post thought it was lost. They were like, okay, we're gonna start an investigation. It might take up to 12 days. In the meantime, it arrived. But yeah, 28 days. It looks like nothing ever happened. Sure, there are no growing tips, but it's okay. The roots are fine and the orchid is okay. It looks in perfect condition. It was kind of dehydrated, yes, but I hydrated it. And yeah, she looks brand new. So <laughs> if you think about it, if you think about the video with my burnt Vandas, you just gotta love the irony. 28 days in a box, in a hot box, perfectly fine. One day in the cypress weather under the shading cloth, burnt. How is that even fair? <laughs> At this point, I just have to accept it and embrace it and move on and just learn from it because it, it's just, <laughs> it was a bad experience, you guys. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. This was the Schroeder slash uh, Vanda <laughs> video. So you know the drill. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos, sometimes unboxings, tutorials, and other fun stuff. And if you like YouTube to notify you whenever I upload a new video, just turn on all notifications for my channel. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.